Good evening, members of the National Security Council. Good morning in other parts of the world. We have a situation going on in Aleppo, Syria. Here's a map of the Middle East. You can see where Syria is there. Aleppo was held by the freedom fighters, those that were opposed to uh, government Bashir Assad's government. Uh, but now that area, Aleppo, which is one of the oldest cities in the world, the second largest city in Syria, is being overrun by Assad and Russian forces. And there's evidence there's been a lot of atrocities. So the players in Syria, we've got the government of Assad, uh, this official Syrian government. They're in the, the opposition government that are like the like we were when we fought Britain uh, in, in the Revolutionary War. There are people that are fighting the Assad government, the freedom fighters. And then, of course, there's the Islamic State that is not partners with either one of them. So allies to uh, Assad are Russia, also Iran, two rather rogue powers in, in uh, terms of the way we think as, as Americans. And then the USA, uh, we've been providing support to the freedom fighters, those against Assad, as has uh, Saudi Arabia. As uh, Assad and the Russians are moving into Aleppo, they're killing many civilians and executing the rebels, and there are many atrocities going on. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with the dying cries from a city once as large as Houston, Texas, as old as human civilization, and sadly as familiar now with civilization's capacity for inhumanity as any place on earth. They are the sounds these days of Aleppo, Syria, dying cries and pleas for help. The ceasefire that was supposed to give the civilians there a safe way out has collapsed. A new one is set to take hold, but past experience does not offer much hope it will last. And the carnage directed at civilians, well, that goes on. In the face of it all, America's UN ambassador is speaking out against Syria, against Russia, and their allies, Iran. So listen to Samantha Power, who is the U.S. ambassador, our ambassador to the United Nations. Uh, this was spoken before the U.N. yesterday. Aleppo will join the ranks of those events in world history that define modern evil, that stain our conscience decades later. Halabja, Rwanda, Srebrenica, and now Aleppo. To the Assad regime, Russia and Iran. Your forces and proxies are carrying out these crimes. Your barrel bombs and mortars and airstrikes have allowed the militia in Aleppo to encircle tens of thousands of civilians in your ever tightening noose. It is your noose. Three member states of the UN contributing to a noose around civilians. It should shame you. Instead, by all appearances, it is emboldening you. You are plotting your next assault. Are you truly incapable of shame? Is there literally nothing that can shame you? Is there no act of barbarism against civilians, no execution of a child that gets under your skin, that just creeps you out a little bit? Is there nothing you will not lie about? or justify. To the members of these, this council and all member states of the United Nations, know that the ghastly tactics we are witnessing in Aleppo will not stop if the city falls. The regime and its Russian allies will only be emboldened to replicate their starve and surrender and slaughter tactics elsewhere. So considering the atrocities in Aleppo that our ambassador is talking about, along with all the other horrors of this Syrian civil war, what could the policy of the U.S. be? What soft and hard foreign policy tools could be brought to bear in Syria to bring this war to an end? Uh, public opinion can be a very strong factor in, in uh, the making and the crafting of foreign policy. We've learned that. So the essay question, your essay question on your final exam, which can be prepared ahead of time, can be done by you as an, as an individual or as a group, uh, is to lay out in as much detail as you like, using maps, sources, timelines, steps to take over time, a plan for the Trump administration to bring the Syrian civil war to an end. Trump has tweeted out about how this, is the, this Aleppo tragedy is the result of uh, Obama and, and uh, Hillary Clinton policies. But soon it's going to be on him. He won't be able to tweet out it's their fault. 
what can what could his administration do or not do? Perhaps it's not the best thing to try and bring this thing to an end. So your essay question on the final, the basic idea is to show an understanding of this conflict in Syria, the players involved, and to build a case for helping to end the Syrian civil war or to make a rational case as to why it makes sense to disengage. Remember the different worldviews we looked at, isolationism, containment, etc. So that's the essay question on the final. It can be done ahead of time where you can use part of the final time to prepare it. Hope you do well. Take action.